We've got a studio. <laughs> So we actually got a topic this week and it's how to get listings and first of all I would just like to say actually to an Instagram fan of ours that he asked us to do a topic on this and I think this is going to be freaking amazing but first two things you need to know is that you can only do this if you work so this will work if you work it okay so put in the work put in the work put in the work so there's no exception to that rule. It will only work if you work it, okay? And the other rule to this topic is, is what can you do differently than anyone else? He's so different! Around you in this current real estate market. And actually, the first thing, I'm just gonna hit right into it. The first thing is, go cheaper. If you're actually starting out as a real estate agent, in this market in South Africa, I think go cheaper than everyone else because about seven years ago, uh, one of the major banks in South Africa had a study that 95% of their people don't deserve 15,000 Rand a month. Maybe think about going a little bit cheaper than everyone else, making your odds more because in real estate, as a real estate agent that's working solo, it's all about getting odds in your favor mission and I had to say that I started out my career in working just with houses that's cheap and I wrote out if not more exactly the same commission as a person that actually had to work on a more expensive listing the nice thing about getting a cheaper listing as well is that it sells faster because more people can afford it so the more you have of that cheaper listings the better it is for you the major thing about when you start out as a real estate agent you got to get everyone to know your name you got to be known as the person that's actually selling the property and i think that's the most important thing is that if you are being known as the person the real estate agent that's selling the property then you're starting to get or people are going to come to you because you're going to be the go-to guy basically or the go-to person and the third one is with the go cheap subject is don't just focus on getting exclusive mandates um, actually focus on working on open mandates if you work on an open mandate, you get the chance to outperform 12 to 13 other agents. We're always winning. And I think if you can make it a goal for you to outperform them, outsell them the whole time, that's where you actually get that satisfaction of I'm becoming damn good. I'm doing great. I'm looking great. I'm feeling great. But for starting, I think that is the best way to get listings to get a lot of them and just be willing because you just got to serve people. You just got to get out there, get your name on the street, get people talking about you. Be willing to work on an open mandate. Be willing to outperform other agents. Be willing because my first sale in real estate, ironically, was an open mandate. And I think my first 10 sales was probably an open mandate. So I have a great story to tell. I wanted to list uh, this property just came in the market. It was hot selling property for 2.6 million. And I asked the guy if I could help him market the place. He said he already had four other agents and I had to convince him with three messages, three calls and three emails and eventually after about three days that I just bombed out on this guy. Um, he said yes, you can, you can help me. And then I took that opportunity. I do things differently than everyone else. And I sold the property in three days. And number two is don't be picky. You are way too picky. Uh, I think that's probably the hardest thing for most uh, real estate agents is not to be picky. You're worrying about that, what the house looks like, whether you would like to represent it. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. All those things. So when you're starting out as a real estate agent, actually just get freaking property, list as much as you can, and get a weekly goal for you to get listings actually to set goals that sounds so easy you get excited about reaching them and then you do better i would like to do four houses a month and i thought it was amazing so that means i have to do one house a week my, my averages was 
I had to list 10 houses in order to sell one. This is the way that I did 70 listings in the beginning. In the beginning. When I started my real estate journey, I was uh, broke. I was behind on my rent for six months. And what was crazy about that is that I didn't have enough money to drive around and canvas and go crazy with my petrol. I had to have routes specifically that I'm gonna drive for that day. After that, I joined the local CrossFit gym. Why? Because in the previous video, we gave you guys a few tips on what's the easiest habits that you'll miss in order to get people to buy property from you. And uh, we said that one of those habits is networking. Things that people will miss in sales to do because they're struggling with sales. But if you really ask them with how much people are you drinking coffee, how much people are you enjoying time with, how much people are you practicing with, there's probably going to be a few zeros around there. So you want to get your network, networking number really high so people are really associated with you the whole time. You don't need to talk about what you're doing, but the nice thing is that they're just associating with you because they know if they're thinking about maybe buying a property or something like that, they can speak to you because you're there the whole time. So I love this one the most is that I told my friends and family that I'm a real estate agent. And we actually have a few questions that uh, one, of, one of the guys on Instagram wanted us to answer and is how do you get to a uh, property first? So that's actually just coming back to if you're going to get to a property first, you actually got to give an owner reason to call you first because they want you. So what happened to me in the beginning, in the beginning, actually, is that I listed a lot of the houses just on one side of town. I made sure I was the top selling agent in that area that was giving other owners reason to call you the easiest other way to do that is that if someone gets a listing in you'll see in about three to six months the either the neighbors or the person across the street will sell their house tips and techniques on how to get listings so network more make sure you're out there the whole time make sure you entertain your friends and family making your friend circle bigger make the people you're training was making that bigger and your job is to make things fun to create an environment where people want to shop for something um, and even if they don't want to and really just be the person that's there the whole time so if you can be those three things then you're probably gonna get that listing the other question was how to get an exclusive mandate usually the guy that's first at a property is getting the exclusive mandate you have to give the guy a reason in order to give it to you so i'm going to say stuff that's applicable to me the way we get it the way i get it so we're nailing videos that's the number one reason for an owner to give it to me um, we're building a community uh, my boards are up in the street. I'm canvassing and I'm driving around with active buyers and you've got to nail it.